Welcome into another weekend of soccer predictions as I look to break down some best bets across all of the top leagues in the world. And there's lots to get to in this weekend's four parlays spread over 12 games. So let's get, get rolling with these soccer picks. And if you like this info, leave a like, subscribe to the channel. We're getting very close to 2,000 subscribers. Check out the Shred the Spread website or Instagram. Consider becoming a member to the YouTube channel to show your support. And if you have any picks in these games or any others, be sure to share them down there in the comments. Let's get started. There's one game that I want to go to on Friday in Bundesliga. It's Augsburg and Stuttgart off a huge 3-1 to win. Stuttgart beat Bayern last week. They're now two points back of Bayern for second. Stuttgart meet Augsburg here sitting mid-table and sitting in mid-table purgatory in ninth. Loses a three straight by scores of 5-1, 3-0, and 3-1. Augsburg is lightly, likely packed and on the beach here. It's a Friday standalone home game though for them. And it's their last home game of the season, so perhaps they do rise up. Stuttgart, though, is 10-3-2 in their last 15. They've scored multiple goals in 12 of those 15 and multiple goals in three of their last four. Stuttgart is 3-1-0 versus Augsburg of late, including a 3-0 win earlier this year. This could certainly be a Stuttgart win or in the parlay. Stuttgart double chance, draw no bet, or simply Stuttgart to score. Gladbach and Frankfurt going to Saturday in the Bundesliga. Frankfurt is probably going to finish 6 they're four points above a seventh point place. Freiburg, Gladbach is probably going to avoid relegation. They're four points above 16th place Mainz, but nothing is certain yet. And while goals aren't certain here, it has been as close to a certain thing as you can get when these teams have met up in recent meetings. Frankfurt won 2-1 to one this season. And past score lines between these teams have read 1-1, 3-1, 1-1, 3-2, 4-0, 3-3, 3-1, 3-2, 4-0, 3-2, 4-0, 3-2, 4-0, 3-2, 4-0, 3-2, 4-0, 3-2, 4-0, 3-2
Now, neither is in good form. Mallorca is winless in six across all competitions. The under 2.5 has gone 10 and one in their last 11. They could use some points. They're just six points above Cadiz in the relegation battle, but a draw could also do them uh, well as well. Las Palmas should be safe. They're in 14th. They've also taken a dive in form. They've lost seven straight. And they have just one win in 13. And they've also scored just one goal in those last seven losses. Mallorca may not be good, but they're always tough to play against at home on the island. They have just four losses at home in 18 games. And their last four home games have been two one nothing losses and two one nothing wins. So tight games, clearly lots of unders. These teams drew 1-1 this, earlier this season. Other scores between them, if we go back Two past seasons, we see 1-1, one, 1-0, one, one, 2-1, 2-2, 2-1, 2-0, 1-1, 2-0, and 2-2 in reverse order. That goes all the way back to 2014. Obviously, long games long ago don't mean much today, but there is a long history of tight games looking at La Liga and lower division matchups. The under 2.5 in that time is just 6-4, and four, but the under 3.5 is 8-2. and two. So for that extra insurance, let's kick off this La Liga parlay going under 3.5 between Mallorca and Las Palmas. Villarreal and Sevilla. Now from a game that looks like there won't be too many goals to another game that should have plenty of goals, in my opinion. Villarreal games average the most goal per match at 3.4 and see the most over 2.5 games this season, 23-11 and 11 to the over. Sevilla are an even 17-17, and 17, but their game still average 2.7 goals per match. It's not always been high scoring, though, between them, but the latest meetings have been 1-1, 2-1, 1-1, and 1-1, so at least a goal from both in all of those recent meetings. The Yellow Submarine lost 3-2 to, to Celta Vigo last week, but they also took a red card early and still managed to hang around and get another goal. Still, they have just three losses in 16, and they've scored in 14 of 16, but they've also given up a goal in 13 of those 16. Over to Sevilla, they coasted past Loli Granada last week, 3-0, and they are 4-1-0 in their last five. They've scored a goal in eight straight. There's not much on the line here for either team as they're both around mid-table. So I'm going to bet on an open and fun game here with goals. Probably both teams scoring over 2.5, but at least one from both. Let's go both teams to score. And then, much like the last parlay we did, here we will once again just ask for one simple result to get us around that even money. And it's Granada and Real Madrid. You don't need me to tell you this is a huge mismatch. First versus 19th. Madrid has nothing on the line here. The title is wrapped up. They could be a little tired coming off of the Champions League this week. Granada was playing. They are playing a little bit better. They're undefeated in three, but they lost away to Sevilla last week, 3-0. They have just four wins on the year. It's very unlikely they hand Madrid just their second loss of the year in La Liga, with Real Madrid being 27-6-1. They're undefeated in 21 games after beating Bayern in the Champions League, and they've scored in all 21 of those games. Plus, they've also scored in 35 straight. Look, certainly you could include Real Madrid to win this game in a parlay. They won 2-0 earlier this season, and they've won the last 15 matchups with Granada. But away from home with nothing on the line, off the Champions League midweek game, I'm just going to ask Madrid just to get one goal here. And if we go Madrid to score, Villarreal, Sevilla, both teams to score. Mallorca, Las Palmas, under 3.5. We can come in at plus 104 odds. Next up, let's do a three-game EPL parlay, starting with Fulham and Man City. Another one of the top teams in Europe right now is Man City. Now, Fulham, they their job is done. They're safe. They're in ninth. They know it. They'll be back in the EPL last season. It is their last home game of the season, though, so maybe they rise up and put in an effort to upset City and derail their title hopes, but that would snap a run of a long history going in Man City's favor. Man City has won 15 straight games against Fulham. They've also scored two or more goals in all of those games. It was 5-1 to one City earlier this season. Fulham is winless in three. They have one win in seven. They've scored just four goals in their last five games as well. Doesn't look like they're taking things very seriously as the season winds down. With nothing on the line... Meanwhile, City should be super focused. They know that if they, they win out, the title is theirs. City is off wins of 5-1, 2-0, 4-0, and 1-0. And outside of a PK loss to Real Madrid in the Champions League, that's their only loss in 32 games. They have just two losses in 42. You could do all kinds of things here. City to win by two, City to win by three. City to win, both teams to score. Maybe you think Fulham can get one goal for this parlay. I just want City to get the win anyway. Newcastle, Brighton, next. Newcastle's hosting Brighton. Newcastle's looking to hold off Chelsea and remain in sixth place in that top six spot. Maybe even catch Tottenham in fifth. They're off four to one and five to one wins. They return home where they are 12, three and three this city this season. Only Arsenal, Man City and Liverpool have more wins or points at home this city than Newcastle. Brighton did beat Newcastle three to one back in September, but wins have been hard to come by for the Seagulls of late with just two wins in 12 
and they had none in six until last week when they pulled an upset over Villa, one nothing. Now that ruined me, ruined one of my, what would have been a perfect week for me is that lost one parlay, just needing a Villa goal. Now that was one of just three goals though, Brighton has scored in their last seven games. So it was very unexpected for them to get that win. In my opinion, away from home, Brighton has just one win in 10. That was versus Sheffield, five nothing. If you take out that, they've been outscored 20 to three in their other nine games across their last 10. Newcastle's five, one and one in their last seven. They've scored 13 goals in their past four. And I see them walking away with a rather hopefully easy win here at home against Brighton. Let's go Newcastle to win in leg two. And finally, West Ham and Luton. The Hammers aren't going anywhere. They're in ninth, while Luton are fighting for their lives to avoid relegation, being 18th. Three points back of Forest with two games to go. It's hard to trust either team here, though, to get a win. So let's just stick to, to uh, totals and goals markets. West Ham's winless in six. They've allowed five goals in two of three games, and they've been outscored 70 to five in their last six games. It is their last home game, though, of the season. Like, like I've been saying in some other games here, maybe they rise up and put in an effort. Luton has just one win in 16, none in four. They've been outscored 13-4 to four in those four games. They do always score a goal. They've done so in 19 of their last 20 games. But Luton games have, been the mo have seen the most both teams to score bets hitting this season at 81%. And they've also kept the second fewest clean sheets at just 6%. West Ham have only kept clean sheets in 14%. That's not that much better. And both teams' score bets have gone 67% in their games. That's the fourth most in the EPL. West Ham won 2-1 to one away in the last meeting between these teams. And a Chelsea win over Forest and a Luton win could still see these teams level with Luton home to Fulham next week and Forest away to Burnley. So all hope's not lost here. If the Hatters can get this win, I think they'll be going all out here knowing they likely need, they need to get the win. They need to keep their hopes of not being relegated alive. So let's go, but I can't, like I've been saying, cannot trust them to keep a clean sheet. Let's go both teams to score. If we can get some pretty good odds on this. Man City to win, Newcastle to win, West Ham Luton, both to score, coming in at plus 187. Let's do one more parlay here. Sunday in Germany and Saturday and Sunday in La Liga. Now this doesn't look like a great game on paper, but it could see some goals. It's Darmstadt and Hoffenheim. This is Darmstadt's last home game in the Bundesliga. Not only this season, but maybe, maybe forever. Who knows? They're definitely going down. Uh, it might not. Make, they certainly could come back one day, but who knows when? They got pummeled this season, three eight twenty one. They got outscored seventy six to thirty so far, and they're getting relegated. And who knows? Like I said, when they'll make it back to promotion. So despite the poor season, despite the poor season, I do expect there to be a party atmosphere at Merck Stadium, Ballen Fortar, their home ground. Darmstadt has one win in twenty five. It did come three games ago though. They've also been shut out in four of their past five. Besides that win, they've kept a clean sheet just three times all season long. That doesn't sound like good stats for them to score, but I think being at home here in this last game with nothing on the line and you know just maybe a, the excitement of getting their last their last home game here in the Bundesliga, they could certainly get a goal. Now, Hoff, a team like Hoffenheim, Hoffenheim should be going for something here too. They still have a shot at the top six spot in the Europa League. They're five points back of sixth place Frankfurt with two games to go. They have one win, having just one win in their last four has likely seen that goal disappear though, but they are just one point back of Freiburg for a conference league spot if they want to go for that. Hoffenheim has five wins only in their last 24, and their last clean sheet was way back in September 23rd, so that does bode well for my prediction of Darmstadt to get on the score sheet. It was, and that was also their only clean sheet this season. Both teams to score bets have cash in nine of 10, Adding the over 2.5 is also 8-2, and two, and simply going over 2.5 in Hoffenheim games has gone 9-1. and one. It was 3-3 earlier this season, and there was just seven shots on target combined for both teams, so almost every shot either team had went in. We could see goals again here. I can't trust either of these teams to keep clean sheets, so let's go both teams to score. Certainly, if you wanted to up that to both teams to score and over 2.5, that wouldn't be bad either. Now, I'm just going to go both teams to score. And I wanted to do a two-leg parlay going both teams to score with Atalanta and Roma in Serie A. But it still could be a good bet. But both teams are coming off Europa League games on Thursday. And then I just realized Atalanta will be playing in the Coppa Italia final a few days later next Wednesday. So this could be a both teams to score bet with both fighting for that final Champions League spot in Serie A. But both could be tired. And Atalanta certainly is looking ahead to a potential trophy on Wednesday. So instead, I'm just going to steer clear here and just pick two teams just to get one goal. Super simple, super easy. We won't go too deep into these last two games, 
But let's go to Spain, Athletic Bilbao, and also Suna, Saturday at 3 p.m. Bilbao will probably finish fifth, but maybe could catch Atleti in fourth. They're seven points back, so it is unlikely. Bilbao only have uh, one loss at home in La Liga at 11-5-1. and one. Osasuna have done enough to stay up, and they have lost four straight recently, so it doesn't look like they're going to end the season on a high. They've been outscored 8-1 to one in those losses. Bilbao hasn't lost at home since August 20th, a run of 20 games where they've scored in 19 of those games. Certainly, Bilbao could win. Bilbao will most definitely score one goal, at least. And then, Atletico Madrid, Celta Vigo, another team that rarely loses at home. Atletico Madrid, they're 15-1-1 and in the Liga. They'll likely be fourth, but could maybe catch Barcelona in third and also maybe be caught by Bilbao, who are currently in fifth. Vigo's win last week means they've likely done enough to stay up. They're eight points now above the relegation spot, so some of the pressure could be off here. Atletico won 3-0 on the road earlier when they last met. Now they're at home where they likely will win again in their last 36 home games in all competitions. They're 32, 2-2, and and they have scored in all but those two losses. Certainly, like the other game, Atletico Madrid will likely win this game. They will most definitely get at least one goal. If we do Darmstadt, Hoffenheim, both teams to score. Bilbao to score. Atleti to score. It's minus 125. Like I said, you want to improve that? Add a third goal in Darmstadt, Hoffenheim, or pick one of Bilbao or Atleti to just win the game, and you can get some better odds there. But I like to play these. Very simple. Very safe. Those are my weekend soccer bets across those four different parlays. What do you like? Are there any straight bets you like? Any upsets? Any parlays? Player props? Corners? Be sure to share any of your best bets down there in the comments, and hopefully we can all cash some tickets this week with our soccer predictions.